All right, congratulations on the win, Coach. Thank you. Uh, four players in double figures tonight, six players with more than eight points. You have to like the way your team spread the ball out around tonight. Yeah, um, I just thought, think everybody really um, added something to the game tonight. I mean, if we can, I mean, example would be Asia Todd coming off the bench and when uh, Moss and uh, Diamond and uh, Brittany were in foul trouble, she she came out there and, you know, hit those big threes, three of them. And I thought Kira Brown did a good job of getting her the ball and Lish getting her the ball. I mean, so to be able to have everybody get super comfortable in scoring, and we worked on shooting, 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 shooting. We knew they were going to play zone. We knew those spots where Asia shot the ball. We knew those spots were going to be wide open and our – her teammates did a, get a, did a really good job of getting her the ball, but um, I thought Moss played great. It's her birthday, so I knew she would play great on her birthday. She did a great job in posting and scoring and, you know, doing that. But uh, Asia Todd really kind of got us into the game and tied it up. I mean, that was that was big for her. The perimeter defense, did something change there? Because they were three for four from the three-point line in that first quarter. And then the rest of the game, you held them to three for 16. Uh, and that third quarter in particular, you forced them to 10 turnovers in that third quarter. What changed there defensively? It was the intensity up or just execution? We pressed. We were in our press. And that's kind of what Tay wanted, wants to do. She wants to be up there. The problem is if Diamond's not in, there's a lot of new people in the back line. <laughs> So um, it was our press. We did a good job. I thought we did a good job getting loose balls. But, I mean, Tay just kind of wearing them out up there in the front of the press and then getting them in traps. I don't think they were ready for that. We haven't really pressed all year long. I mean, honestly, because we haven't had to. Um, we probably should have pressed more against Florida Gulf Coast, so that's my bad. But, um, you know, they're a really good shooting team, so that's why we kind of didn't do that. But I think it was our press pulling it back out. You know, you got off to a sluggish start offensively tonight. Kind of reminded me of Sunday. Uh, was it just that you couldn't buy a basket? Or I don't know. You know, were I they just guarding exceptionally well? Well, I, I've kind of talked to you guys about this a little bit. It's just like mm, our team's got to figure out how people are going to guard people. Are they going to go double Brittany, you know? Yes, they did. They were doubling Brittany. They were running at Brittany. So now we knew they were doing that. So I knew that those – kind of slot spots, you know, kind of elbow extended out three point line. We're going to be wide open. So we just, and we, we missed a bunch, we missed too many layups. We were fading, missed too many layups um, at the beginning. And then, you know, I think, you know, just getting them really confident and just catching and shooting. Cause you know, our team likes to catch and drive to the basket. That's what they want to do. So that's why I said Asia Todd was big coming in there and just catching and shooting. You mentioned last game how this team is, you know, going through this, you know, that Florida Gulf Coast game was the first time they were behind late in the game and things like that. Tonight, close game down the stretch, executing, making free throws, getting rebounds. How big is that to go through that? I mean, you can only coach them up so much in practice, but they got to go through it and get a win again. It's a really good Tulane team executing down the stretch. Yeah. I mean, and every year, I mean, since I've been here for, what, for five years, I mean, we've haven't beat Tulane and it's always down the stretch last minute, you know, cause Lisa does a great job. She's a great coach. She's got a great team. Um, I think, I think, I, I don't know if they were really ready for our press, you know, and I think they were probably a little bit more worn out by then, you know, having to guard artists and stuff. And, and then once we get going in our press and we get layups and Tate did a good job defensively in the half court, like getting some tips and steals, she kind of ran through that passing lane that one time. I don't know if you remember and got that steal and the layup and her and diamond when her and diamond can play like that. It's really awesome. Coach, can you talk a little bit about those clutch free throws at the very end of the game? Four free throws were huge. Huge. Yeah, I mean, and we haven't been really good at, you know, making our free throws. So, like, I don't know if you saw me. I was turning around and praying. Could we please? I knew I knew Lish could make them. Lish, if in practice, if I say, okay, somebody shoot a one-on-one -on -one so we can be done, everybody's always like, Lish! go up there so I knew Lish could make them um and Tay's Tay's been a decent free throw shooter for us it just happened that the ball was in both of their hands and they you know got to shoot those shots so those are big free throws 
you're still sounds like you're still learning this team each game and certain things you mentioned earlier, maybe I should have pressed more. Now, is that part of the process as you learn this team? Now you get on the road and there you, you, you're learning as you're on the fly, if you will, because of some of the lost time you've had prior to this season. You're kind of learning this team and what they kind of how they handle certain things. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, as I see Asia play more and Destiny got to play a lot and Anna played a lot and Kiera Brown is just she, to me, is just such an X factor in every game that we've played and she's played. She's doing a phenomenal job and just a lot of stuff. But I could see that, that you know, she's like, woo, I'm getting tired. Woo, I haven't played in a year and a half. I haven't played since high school, right? So it's like she's getting her legs into her and so is Asia. And Lish has is, is got to, you know, kind of pick up the speed a little bit compared to Diamond's pace and, and Tay's pace. So it's just, I mean, honest, really fast and, you know, plays super duper hard. So it's, it's good to have all these options. I, you know, and I thought Janaea did a great job. She got that charge. It was a great charge. She got some tips and loose balls and Desto destiny really stepped up when Moss and Brittany are out. I mean, some games, Brittany and Moss aren't going to have the greatest games, but you know, I mean, I think it's, I think Moss had a great game just because they, they put four guards out there down the stretch and we just kept running everything to Moss because there was a, uh, uh, guard gardener and so we did a good job of executing those sets Janaea made some good passes to her high low so you know Moss could score on the block